Hey, it's Zoe, and I'm um, doing my first uh, YouTube upload uh, with a library sale book haul. Um, I went to two different sales for two different counties um, here, so um, I supported both, which is good. Um, of course, I got about 20 books, um, at least, if not a little bit over. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of go through them and um, show what I got. And, they're kind of a wide range. I didn't uh, organize them in any way. I maybe should have done it by genre, but I wasn't thinking that far ahead. Anyway, so without further ado, because it's going to take a while, I'll just go through them. I'm probably not going to say much more um, about them except for their titles. I'm just, as I said, it's my first video. I'm just trying to get things out there. So, okay. Um, let's hear. Okay. So uh, my first one here I have is... Um, Ooh, see, glare. I'm still working on this. Um, Laurie King, our King, the Beekeeper's Apprentice. Um, again, it's a Sherlock Holmes retelling kind of thing. Um, I think I tried to read this once many years ago, but I like the new cover, and I thought, well, I'll give it another shot. Um, the Black House by Peter May. I've just heard about this on BookTube recently, and I thought it sounded really um, intriguing for a, a mystery, so I picked that one up as well. Um, Ken Skull's short stories, uh, Diving Mimes, Weeping Sars, and other um, and other unusual suspects. Um, I like his um, his uh, Psalms of Isaac series, and I've actually met him several times and. I really like Ken Souls himself, so um, Skulls, um, so I am want to read some of his short stories, which I haven't got to, so pick that up. Um, Surrender New York by um, Caleb Carr, and uh, I've read several of Caleb Carr's books, like The Alienist, and um, oh, there's other ones I've read them, ah, but um, this is one of the newer ones that I have not read, so I picked it up, even as long as hardcover, not my favorite. I like paperbacks. Um, Justin Cronin, The City of Mirrors. This means I get to finish the Passage um, trilogy. I'm not sure what they call the trilogy itself because it doesn't say here, but as I said, I have I have the other books, but I've read, only read the first one. So this is the third one, so now I can probably read them back to back. and Because I, I actually got the... Um, audiobook for the passage which isn't here but I have it in my car already um, to re-listen to that to get to the 12 and then to this one so um, Kelly Armstrong Omens I read this when it came out um, from the library um, a couple of years ago um, and I like her um, women of the underworld series so um, I had picked this up and I liked it enough that I wanted to get it or read more of the series. I hadn't, I haven't gotten to it yet, but um, I figured to pick up the first book again and have my own copy and reread it and then start that series again. Um, Susanna Kearsley, um, The Firebird. I read one of her earlier books, The Winter Sea, so I wanted to try something else by her. I um, do, I might even have this on my Kindle, but I don't use my Kindle very often anymore. I mean, I use it when I'm on trips, um, either for work or for vacations, but I don't read a lot of, um, anything on the Kindle unless they're like novellas and short stories that are from series that I really enjoy by authors. I already buy their paperbacks or hardbacks for. So, um, I do have some more of her books that way, but I thought, oh, well, I saw a really good copy of it for pre for two bucks. So I thought, well, I'll just get it this way. Um, Anthem by Neil Stevenson. Um, I haven't read, I don't know enough about this one, except that I know it was one I had not read and, um, I was interested enough in it to pick it up and give him a shot on that one. Um, that sounded really dorky, but you know what I mean? Like I've read a couple of them and most of them I've enjoyed. Like I, there's none of them I've hated. I've maybe not liked some of them as well as others, but I thought, Oh, Hey, I could try another one. I mean, it was 50 cents. Um, Bernard Cornwell, um, Stonehenge. Um, I think it's one of his standalones. Um, again, historical 
um, fiction. Um, I had a friend who about a decade ago told me to read him and I never really got around to it. I think this is the one she said I should read that that was by itself so I didn't have to read it with other books. Maybe now it's a series and I don't know about it, but um, at the time it was like by itself. So I'll have to look into that, but I figure if I'm in a historical mood, I will try to read this. So I got... Um, Cormac and Carthy, The Road. Um, I've never picked up anything by him, but I figure I'm kind of interested enough now to look at it after everything has kind of calmed down hype-wise on this that I'm willing to give it a shot. And I know enough people that have read this and enjoyed it, so I want to give it a shot. Um, Beautiful Ruins by Jess Walter. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this except for my... Um, how does that work? There we go. Um, my cousin-in-law or my cousin's wife uh, said I should read this. So I thought, hey, it's there. It's on sale or, you know, it's cheap. I'll get it and try it out. It's uh, I'm more of a contemporary than I normally go for. I admit I'm much more into fantasies, all different genres of fantasies and mysteries and, um, and even into horrors, but I don't do a whole lot of contemporaries anymore. Um, so this is kind of different. Speaking of kind of historical stuff, I got The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. Um, I had a really old cheap mate, um, mass paper back that was really kind of damaged, and it was the only one I could get at the time, and I thought I was going to read this before the miniseries came out, and then I never did it. Never seen the miniseries because I hadn't read the book yet, so um, I got this really nice copy, so I'm hoping that I can uh, dive into this at some point. Um, I'm still interested enough to try it, even though I got I got about 50 pages last time in, and so I said I got I pulled off, and I didn't really like the copy because the, it was just hard to hold. So it sounds stupid, but sometimes if I don't like a book enough to force myself to keep reading the mass paperback, I won't. Even though I, most of my stuff is mass paperback. Um, I got a David Mitchell book, um, The Thousand Autumns of Jacob Desote. I think is how it said. Um, I don't know anything about this really because um, I've read several of his books and I just thought, oh, hey, again, cheap and I like him as an author, so I don't like everything. I've liked um, Cloud Atlas and um, it's a Ghost Written, I think is the, that one. I like those ones and I haven't read any of the other ones, but I want to read more of them, so. so nice when they're cheap. So here's some of the past paperbacks that I got um, that um, are in series that I'm in the middle of that I just picked up some of the cheap, the, the like dollar bird, you know, ones that I could get. I got um, some of the JD Robs. I am in the middle of that series, not very far, probably about 10 in, but I got Innocent in Death, Divided in Death, and Survivor in Death. And um, I said it's just getting the collection. I know there's like 40 books, but at some point I'll get to them. Oops, I shouldn't do that talk and then turn away. I'm not used to this. I'm sad first time. Anyway, so um, one I kind of took a chance on was James Maxley, Maxi um, Bitterwood. Um, there was also Dragon Seed there, so I think that's book two. So I'm not sure a lot about this series. I just saw it and it saw, seemed interesting and. I like them going after, um, they're going after the dragons, but of course things are never go the way they're supposed to. So, so it's kind of a fantasy thing. I'm just, I, it's a new series to me, so we'll see what happens. Um, I also got one of the Dean Koontz odd books, the Deeply Odd. I have all the rest of them. This is the one I was missing. So when I saw it at the book sale, of course I picked it up. So now my uh, collection of that is complete. I actually really like that series. Um, here's another one I kind of just picked up and thought, oh, this is kind of cool, is Angelology by Danielle Truon Trusoni. I don't know I, anyway, so how to say that. Anyway, I don't know pretty much anything except for that it has to do with um, some kind of angels and um, stuff. So uh, I don't know. Well, this said, it's kind of, it was some fantasy thing. So looks looks good. I don't know. Let's see. 
Um, a Heart in Sun and Shadow by Ann Bellet. Um, I have one of her other books. And my name are Justice Calling, which is her, one of her other series. So I thought, oh, I'll try something else. It was, and she's a local author, so I thought, oh, I'll just pick it up. Looks good. Um, I also got Positive. Um, oh, she's just not doing this right. Um, by David Wellington. Um, it's a zombie um, book from what I understand, like a plague takes out everybody. And then this guy comes up positive for, um, the disease, but he's not, is not active yet. So he has to hold out a year or something, I think, um, or two years for the incubation, incubation period before they'll let him be out in normal society. And of course, um, things go wrong once they try to hold him. So, and so, you know, who's the bad guys, the zombies, or the people who are holding them. But it looked good. So I thought I'd give it a shot. And my brother likes uh, zombies, so he might like that one after I read it. And then I got um, Wolf Hall um, by Hilary Mantel. Um, I'm, I, this looks like it won the Man Booker Prize. So, um, again, it's about Henry VIII, so history. I like a lot of history fiction sometimes just to change things up. Um, I actually like regular history too on certain subjects. So um, again, Henry VIII is always very interesting because he lived quite dangerously. Anyway, so um, I want to see um, how that goes. Um, so that's kind of it on what I got at the two uh, book sales. I don't know. Maybe I should have split it up better. Maybe I should. As I said, this is my first time. If you have any comments, let me know. Hey, what do I need to change to do better? Hey, I'm just learning. So, um, anyway, so we'll see. I'll see you next time.